What are you thinking about? Yes, what do you think about the most? In fact, we are the sum total of our thinking, of our thoughts. Your thinking have brought you this far. Your thinking have created the life that you have right now. So if you want to change things around, start with your thoughts. And with that, I want to share with you the power of your thoughts and how your thoughts have impacted and is impacting every area of your life. But I want to focus on four aspects, four areas of your life where your thoughts have impacted and then what you can do to make some changes from the ground up, from your thinking up to your actions. Now, let's get to it. Here we go. Computer technology coined a new phrase, output equals input. This axiom of computer science holds true in our thought lives. The mind, like a giant computer, works according to the type of information it is fed. There are some things I want you to see here when it comes to your thinking. What we think about influences several aspects of our lives. So here we go. Number one, our thoughts affect our health. Our thoughts affect our health. In Proverbs 14, verse 30, it says, A sound mind makes for a robust body, but runaway emotions corrode the bones. Mm. Proverbs 15, verse 13 says, or it discuss how negative thoughts can cause a broken spirit. We can actually make ourselves sick through worry or negative thoughts. Wow, we can actually make ourselves sick. So we have to be careful of what we're thinking. We have to control our thoughts. Our thoughts also affect our faces. Yeah, your thoughts can affect your face. Because in Proverbs 15, verse 13, it says, A cheerful heart brings a smile to your face. A sad heart makes it hard to get through the day. You can get by with, with a, a smile on your face, but after a while, people will notice whatever's on your heart, whatever's on your mind is going to show itself on your face. So uh, make sure that you're constantly looking through your thoughts, how you're thinking and what you're thinking about to make sure you're thinking the right thoughts that will produce the smile, the joy, the cheerfulness that you want others to see on your face. And moving on, our thoughts affect our speech, how we speak, what we say. Proverbs 16, verse 28, it says, troublemakers start fights. Gossips break up friendships. Think about the things you talk about the most. Are they encouraging and positive things or are they crude, foul, and negative? What we think about becomes what we talk about. What we think about becomes what we talk about. The other aspect of your life that your thoughts impact or influence is your view on failure. How do you see failure? How do you see failure? Our thoughts affect our attitudes toward failure. If you see failure as your demise, if you see failure as that's it, it's over, I'm done, I'm quitting, then guess what? Every time you face a setback, you're not going to put in more effort. But if you can change your mindset, if you can shift your mind on how you see failure, how you see setbacks, if you can see a setback as a way, an opportunity to come back, whatever comes to your life, whatever failure, as Mickey Rooney stated, he said that we will always pass failure on our way to success. So if if I know that it's a part of the process, then when I face failures, when I face setbacks, if my my mindset, my outlook is different, when I see it the way I I perceive failure as a learning experience, I'm going to go through it. I'm going to fail my way to success no matter what. So shift your thinking on how you see failure and see it as a learning experience.
Now, what should we think about? What should we think about? I know that there are at times we doubt ourselves. We have some negative thoughts that fly through our our mind, right? Uh, That fly over our heads at times. You know, you can't stop birds from flying over your head. However, you can stop birds from building a nest. Well, you may not be able to stop some negative thoughts, some negative thoughts or uh, thoughts where you are doubting yourself doubting your, 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 your potential, doubting what it is that you can actually achieve in your life. You may not be able to stop it. You may not be able to prevent it from flying over your head. However, you can prevent it from building a nest. You can prevent it from building a home. So uh, the way we do this is to think about things that are true. According to Philippians 4, verse 8, think on things that are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, and worthy of being spoken well of. So think about those things. Fill your mind with positive information. Fill your mind with positive, faith-filled words, faith-filled messages. When you fill your mind with that, then that's what you're going to speak about. You will only speak out of the abundance of your heart. We only speak out of the abundance of what's in our head, of what's in our mind. So I say to you today to fill your mind with positive information, listen to inspirational messages every single day. Make sure you're bombarding your brain, bombarding your mind with brilliance, bombarding bombarding your mind with positive information that will help you to stay focus on what is important that will help you to stay focused on the positive. Because if you focus on the positive, if your mind is filled with positive thoughts, then you will get better result. You'll get positive results in your life as a result. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have received value from today's message. If you have, please do like this video. Also share this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you again. I'm Nick ZZ from UnleashYourZebra.com, reminding you today that imitation is limitation. Unleash your zebra.